Hi there, I'm Erin Waters and I'm going to show you a quick beginner tutorial for using your TPT resources that you've already bought and using them on Jamboard, which is a new feature on G Suite for Google Classroom. If you're working with a PDF, you'll want to convert those to JPEG, which are image files, first. So what you'll do is use a website like Small PDF and you will select the PDF to JPEG option and choose the PDF file that you want to convert into images. Jamboard will only allow you to insert images into their program, so you want to make sure that you have this set up before you start creating assignments. I'm going to click on the PDF that I want to convert and it's going to take all of those files and turn them into images. Now, it's going to give you the option to either extract certain images or just to convert the whole thing. I always just convert the whole entire file. One, because I usually need all of them, and two, it's a pro feature, which is paid to be able to extract certain images. So you're going to want to select the choose all, and then once this is done uploading, you will download the images to your computer and you will have a folder of all of the same pages of this resource but they will be in an image format instead. Now if you're working directly from PowerPoint then you are going to want to open up that same exact file but in PowerPoint. For example if you are using a um, morning journal prompt like this one you are going to go up to file and select export and you are going to want to export those with the file format as JPEG. So let's change that to JPEG and export them and again this will create a folder on your computer full of images rather than PowerPoint files. Once you've done that you'll be able to go right into Jamboard and start uploading images so that you can use them for your lessons with your students. To upload those images, you're going to select Add Image, and you can either search on your computer or you can drag and drop images directly from your computer. Once you have your image uploaded to Jamboard, this is where I usually switch to using an iPad because then I can use a stylus to actually draw directly onto the screen. Now, you can, of course, draw without a stylus, but it just gets a little messier. Um, for example, it's a little harder to control, but it's still totally doable, so it just depends on what you have available Once you have the prompt image up on your Jamboard screen, anything you do for your students is going to be seen by them in real time. So for this math journal, I'm going to select a writing tool and I'm partial to the marker, but it's totally personal preference. And I'm going to select a color that's easy for them to see. In this case, we are solving a word problem that involves drawing a picture and writing answers. So I especially like this ability to draw a picture for the students so that they can see the process of solving this problem from start to finish. I'm going to draw the six cubes that we already have, and I'm going to model how we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've drawn two more to make the desired number. So Joel has six cubes, he needs two more, to make eight. So this is a really easy way of showing the kids in real time how to solve math problems. Because you've shared this link with them, they're able to watch it in a separate window and hear you talk it out at the same time. Now, this is the first option. This is the easiest, most basic option um, in terms of how to use Jamboard with your kids. And this involves just a teacher showing their students how to solve a problem. Now, if you want to involve your students and have them work out the problems as well, that is a possibility. It's a little more work, but it's really cool. If you're working with small groups, then you can also assign these to different students as well. Jamboard only allows you to create up to 20 slides in one jam, so it's not ideal for larger classes. But if you are one of the lucky ones that has less than 20 students, this is definitely an option. Um, but if you are working with a small group, this is also an option. So in order to assign these, you would simply click up here and you would duplicate it for each student. Let's say you're doing a guided math group online 
and you have four or five students. So um, once you've duplicated that, you can go through and actually use the sticky note feature and assign slides to each student. So they can go through and see exactly which slide they are supposed to be working on. You can also use these sticky notes to give directions. But the cool thing is that if you are working with students and they are filling these out, you're able to see their work in real time as well. If you're working with a large group, for example, your whole entire class, then you can definitely do it as a whole group and you can be the one to write on the slides and show the students how the work is done. But you also might want to consider choosing a few students every day to solve the problem as well and then explain to the class how they got their answer. So there you have it. Jamboard is not perfect by any means, but it's one of the best replacements for an interactive whiteboard, especially if we are talking about teacher-led instruction. I've left a link to a free file with these math journal prompts as well as some morning journal prompts to get you started this year. You can use them whether you are distance learning or if you are in the classroom. But regardless, I hope you have a great year. I hope you stay healthy and I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial.